this custom pet portrait makes about $43,000 per month in revenue and there are many other listings on Etsy just like this. At the first glance at these portraits, they might seem quite daunting but they are a lot easier to create than you can imagine with the help of AI. So in this video, I'll be breaking down step by step the custom pet portrait business and also to show you it is one of the underrated side hustles to start with a very high earning potential. Hopping on to Etsy and making use of my research tool Everbee, I came across three major pet portraits that seem to be selling well. One is watercolor pet portraits. The another one is cartoon pet portraits. You can see how these normal um, images are converted to cartoons. And the last one is the Renaissance pet portrait. Before we go into any of these, let me quickly show you how much some of these portraits are making. Using Everbee, I clicked on analyze listing for this specific listing alone, not the entire shop. And as you could see that this specific listing alone makes about 43,000 um, dollars per month and this listing is not even up to two years and you can see how well this listing is doing and you could call go ahead and come down here to see different search in terms of the volume and the competition what i know is on etsy people tend to love pets generally not just on etsy people would pay a hefty amount of money to get the portraits of their pets this is just one particular listing another listing is the one analyzing it as well you could see that this particular one also makes about five thousand dollars every month you could see that these are really doing absolutely amazing the last one i'll be analyzing will be the renaissance going to the renaissance pet you could see that let's analyze this just a single listing and you could see that this makes about nine thousand dollars per month in revenue and you could see how these portraits are killing it so from all that i have showed you we'll be concentrating on the watercolor um portraits as well as the cartoon portraits that's what we'll be covering in today's tutorial don't forget to use the link in the description to get your research tool ever be to help you analyze some of these listings and see the numbers for yourself well, the next step would be for ross to create these images and we'll be using this particular ai tool that i recently discovered is called styler and in terms of the styler how it works is it uses credits and once you exhaust your credits then it might prompt you to pay for the tool but you could use the credit to create a lot of images but before i get into that we'll be using this particular image this corgi image as our base image just to showcase to you how this particular tool works normally how this whole process works is that your customers are going to submit their pet images to you through etsy and then you take that image and then create the style that you are selling on your shop to walk you through we'll just close this you go to here recent projects once you have signed up for styler.ai click on new project and once you click on new project this is going to open it's going to ask you to name it i can just go ahead and say pet portrait if you have a specific dimension you could go ahead and specify the dimension you want this image to be on or you could always go ahead and drag in the main image as it is just drag in my own image just to show you the next thing would be go ahead and click on import images go to the folder where you have saved that image and click on open or drag it's going to upload it one good thing about this particular tool is that it has other features which i'll be getting to once we are done generating some of our images the first Thing that will be creating is a watercolor portrait of this dog click on image to image there it has plethora of styles which i'll be showing you which ones seem to match what we are looking for for things like watercolor we'll be using the delicate aquarelle this 
seems to give a better result and then for the auto prompting just click on it and it's going to look at the image and generate what exactly it wants the prompt to be you can also go in and change what the prompt is saying for instance it said here cute brown and white dog we're going to remove the dog and put in corgi because it's going to give it a more specific type of dog um, breed structure match is how well do you want the image to fit what you have we want it completely 100 percent then the intensity is how the style if you take it lower it has less of the style you're looking for if you take it higher it has more of the style we'll just leave it at 0 0.7 and click on stylize it's going to take a bit of your credit here and the good thing is that this credit resets every day but if you want to use it further and you want to produce things faster you might need to upgrade but if you could wait to have it reset every day then that works for you we're just going to wait for this image to generate and the good thing is that it's going to generate four images and then you would go and look at the images and see the ones that are very alike to the image that you have because sometimes it tends to change it a little bit let's look at the one that seems to fit more to what we have we could say this, but it gave the tail somewhere different. Or we could use this. If this, for instance, is the perfect image for you. If not, you could always click on new stylize until you get what you're looking for. But majority of the time, it tends to get these images pretty good, which is a pretty amazing for this tool. Click on this and click on place on canvas. It automatically places this on the canvas. We want to take the layer one down. Okay. So you could see this is almost comparable to what you have, but you go ahead and do multiple iterations, take down the watercolor stylized, and you'll be able to get a very perfect image this is for watercolor there's another style that i found here that if introduced on etsy i know it's going to do well go back to image to image instead of using dedicated apparel this is another type using this particular one flamenco dance and we'll just leave the settings that it is and click on stylize and see the type of image it's going to generate for us we generated some images but you could see that this the first image was on when i was generating it make sure you toggle off that first image and let's click again but i already as you could see the style looks really stunning and amazing the style looks really good if you could be able to showcase this on etsy this is going to be a game changer for you if you decide to do this it's done these look really nice you can decide the one that fits better and the one you want to showcase. And once you choose the one you like, click select it, click on place, and then we will take it down. And you can see it has placed this. Another one that I want to show you as well is for people who want to change, create these images, that if you want to create it into a cartoon style and you want to use styler.ai, there are a couple of options. It doesn't have much, but a couple of options you could use. We'll go ahead and switch this off. So we switch this off, switch this off, we we'll switch this back on because this is the original image. Because when you're generating these images, make sure you're using the original image. We're going to be using cute exaggeration. That is one I found that tends to give it that cartoon feel. Select it and then let's make it six and stylize. You can see how this looks. This looks really cute. Though it gave it a tail, but you could look for the one that looks exactly like the image this looks cute but you could always generate another one so we'll just place this here take it down this is not bad we have looked at a couple of styles we have this one which is cute then we have looked at another style which i believe is going to do well on etsy if marketed properly and then we have the watercolor style 
this as well, which is very popular on Etsy. Another option if you want to create cartoon will be to use ChatGPT, that's Del E. And but the challenge I have with this is it changes the image to some extent. Let's look at some of the examples that I was playing initially with. I uploaded the same particular Kogi using this particular GPT cartoonize me and you could see that i just asked to stay as close as possible to the original image it generated this and changed the whole thing this is the third one let's go and see the second one you could see this as well it's not exactly like the image and this is the first one yeah you could give this a pass but it's entirely different people might say oh this is not the same image that i gave you but this tends to try to create this in a pixel style using the image that you have provided so you could look into this as well and see how you could try it multiple times and see if you can get close resemblance to the images but what i found to work easily would be styler.ai and there are other tools that you could help you achieve this as well especially photoshop and some other tools if you want me to cover some of those tools let me know in the comment section once you have all your images ready the next step would be to download this and prep it and send to your customer or prep it to use as a mock-up for your store here this is where this comes handy you could go ahead and remove the background here if you didn't fit it's going to use some of your credit or you could take it to another tool to do so it has also a selection tool the next thing will be to export this image i just want to export just this image you could click on export and it will tell you the type of file format and if you want to upscale it if you want to upscale it up to four times then you would have to pay or you could export it to x if you don't pay for the tool specifically it comes with a watermark which i believe you can always remove when you are removing the background but what we're going to do is going to select 2x and click on export and then it's going to be exported to our computer and we'll take it to canva to do a little bit of prepping on it coming into canva i created an 8 by 10 inches size because it's one of those inch um, sizes that is dominantly offered on etsy and uploaded the image as you can see here you just drag the image to the canvas and then you could make it fill up that particular size of the image if you're offering this to the customer this is just basically it you could just go to share and then download as png make sure you increase the quality and make sure you're using if you want this to have a white background exactly like this just don't use a transparent background leave it as it is and then this will be on your way to your customer but what if you need to showcase this as a mock-up which will be one of the critical things you need to do when you are listing this particular product on etsy i will show you how to do that um shortly but before we go ahead to start creating listings and putting mock-ups the next step would be to create your etsy account and to create your etsy account just come to etsy.com go straight to the bottom here and you would see sell on etsy and once you click that it will prompt you to sign up with your email address then you will be able to open an etsy store but listing a particular product on etsy costs about 20 cents for each listings if you want to save a bit of money when you are just getting started you could use the link in the description to get your first 40 free listings and you don't have to pay for that you could use the link in the description once you have your account open let's go ahead to start designing some mock-ups for this particular listing we could go to um canva home and then i'll still use 2000 by 2 pixels the next thing i will do is we're going to look for a couple of um, images that we could use to showcase this particular um, pet portrait that we are offering as a service on etsy or as a product you could also always get these mock-ups from different places but if you have an etsy account you could always find one from here i'm just going to go ahead and look for some images 
around this this looks okay set as background and just move this over i found another one that looks really good let's see so you could go ahead and take the image that you have uploaded i have the one with the white background and the one with a transparent background so i can use the transparent background one i could decide to place it within the frame as you can see this looks really good we could take this to the next image and do the same thing we could reduce this to fit into the frame this really looks good another mock-up that i find on etsy that would help people know what you are actually selling would be just click click another one and then we'll bring in the image here we'll just make this sit to the entire image and then if the dog has a name just paste it you could choose to paste it at the very top here reduce it a little bit so here we could just say cooper and then here we're going to look for a circle image or a square let's do the use a square put it at the corner it could be this corner or that corner reduce it a little bit and the original image people like to see the before and the after this is the original image just drag and drop here and as you can see that this shows the before and this shows the after once this image is ready download these images that you have created and include it in your product listing because it's a great way to showcase how you have transformed the customer's original image to the different type of pet portrait that you are selling within your store the final piece of the step before you can actually publish your listing on etsy will be to add title and description to your listings and the best way to get an idea would be from ChatGPT. ChatGPT has a specific GPT called Etsy SEO Expert. It does a very good job on writing title descriptions and even giving you tag suggestions for your pet portrait. Once you open it, you could just type to give you a description as well as tags for custom pet portrait and hit enter then it's going to go ahead to give you the title go ahead and give you a detailed description as well as the tags but you need to double check these tags to be sure that these are some of the tags people are looking for on etsy and it has a very good search volume and good competition and once you are done with all of these i'll link a video at the very top that shows you how to put in your title your description as well as your tags and once you put that in you could go ahead and publish your listings on etsy and it's active after you hit the publish button and your listing has gone live anytime you make a sale and receive a request from a customer they'll be submitting their pet portraits to you go ahead to use styler.ai or any other tool that could create these images for you and create the image make sure that the image is within the file type you have promised on etsy the the right size as well as you give them within a stipulated time frame you could say if it's 24 hours 48 hours whatever works for you put in that time frame and make sure you deliver a quality work etsy it's a numbers game and the more options you publish to your shop the more traffic and sales you would get so do not forget to use the link below to get your everbee research tool to help you narrow down the niches also use the link below to get your 40 free listings on etsy so you don't have to pay when you get started and you can also get one month free canva pro account to help you put everything together now that you know how this particular product is created and how you could put package it and publish to your shop the next step is actually to promote your listing so go ahead to this video next to learn how to drive traffic to your shop and i will see you there